Once we left Cape Levick, just on sunrise, it took Alroy and myself four hours to get to our first destination. between Secure Bay and Walcott Inlet. We just saw this little beach here and there I went for a walk and he found this little plaque on you're about to see there. It's a couple of old 44 gallon drums. Look at this area. Looks like there was a party here, survey party here way back in 1963. You know some trees absolutely amaze me. The way their root system hooks onto rocks like this and they don't fall over. That's amazing. Absolutely incredible. These green ants, they're, they're everywhere up in the Kimberleys. Now I have read that these little green ants, if smashed up with their larvae into a little pulp, they could, now I say could, relieve you of a headache. But mate, take some neurofren or something like that because I don't think you'd want to do that. Going off that plaque. I reckon this little bottle here has been here since 1963. Look at that. I'm a bit worried about Nunya behind me tonight. So Alroy's got to camp up on the beach and I'm got to stay on the boat because if we lose that, we're stuffed. Up here in the Kimberleys, you can never have enough rope. Here I am tying Nunya for the night. Make sure she's all nice and tight and not gonna float away on us. I'm just giving Alroy a few lessons on the old drone. He's doing all right for the first time. The things you can video with them are absolutely amazing. One of the biggest costs up here is the fuel. We've had to carry extra fuel so we've pulled over for an hour just to top up our, our fuel tanks. Our next stop is Iron Island. Up here in the Kimberleys there's over two and a half thousand islands. And this one on the western side is just absolutely covered in pure iron ore. Amazing sight to see. Thank <laughs> you. 
every time I come up here, the scenery still just amazes me. Absolutely beautiful. Our Roy here grew up in Fitzroy Crossing where he learnt to hunt and fish. And although this is his first time this far up the Kimberley coast, he liked it that much, I don't believe it'll be his last trip. Join me next time on this four-part series of Travelling the Kimberley Coast. See you there.